guys? Today we're watching Police Chase Life with Driver on October 15th. October 15th. October 15th. 2013. So let's get into it now. So you can see I'm quarantined. For three. Not long. Not two. Not three. For three days. I'm quarantined. For three days. Yeah, so three days. Tuesday. Tuesday. Three days. Three days. Three days. Three days. Two. Three days. 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 Three the afternoon and at this part of town using the right shoulder to get around that traffic. Know, as you can see, traffic is very heavy here. And this should be the Van Nuys Boulevard on ramp. North I-5 Mixing Van Nuys Boulevard. You must stroll around on Service Streets in LAPD's foothill the Mission territory. Again, he was right by Osborne near the actual police station circling around the police station. Very low speeds, but he picked things up, joined the freeway, but only for one ramp, then gets off the freeway here at Van Nuys Boulevard. Looks like he'll come in, make a right or eastbound turn now on Van Nuys Boulevard and back into the neighborhood. Into Back Arlita into the neighborhood. And you can see the car there. You can see that four door sedan. You see the windows rolled down. We can't tell how many people are in the car just yet. Outside of the you driver. can't tell how many people are in the car. You have unwilling participants in the car. So LAPD officers are taking that into consideration. He'll make a uh, maybe make a left turn here trying to get around right? all that traffic. And now he'll be northbound on what I think is most likely going to be Laurel Canyon Boulevard. It's going to be yeah, Laurel, 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 Laurel Canyon Boulevard. Canyon and he's about a half Boulevard. mile south now of the 118 heading up towards the city of San Fernando. It looks like he's going to stay here in the San Fernando Valley. San this is actually Fernando. a short pursuit. It's Valley. only been going on, to the best of my knowledge, for a little under a quarter of an hour. First, we heard about it right around 5.30 on surface streets in the San Fernando and Valley. Stopping and going on erratic for driving, half an hour driving, or two. Reckless driving, according to LAPD officers. And that's why they've been trying to get this guy to pull over ago. northbound on the Canyon. Next stop, we're very close to the 118, so we'll have a choice. You can stick with surface streets or pick up the Ronald Reagan Freeway east or west. Bound what he did say, so uh, the and then the driver right now, so if going down a bit, picking up some speed. A little bit. These pursuits are going to get going a little bit too fast. For other people who may be in that car, we're going to try to zoom in tight now. So we'll see if we can see anybody else inside that car. How many people are inside the car? And again, as we go on for past 20 or 30 minutes or so, I'm going to see the driver changing lanes. Okay, under, crossing under. So they'll stay close, but give the guy a little bit of a berth. Just passing under the 118 and still on Laurel Canyon northbound, doing everything he can to get around that traffic, driving in the center divider on the freeway. You saw him driving on the right shoulder, running red lights and, you and stop signs. This is a very on the right dangerous pursuit. Shoulder, and as we always to do, I want to remind you once again, because this on is on service streets in the nope. San Fernando Valley. If still you're watching this chase, maybe you know he's coming toward your neighborhood. The best if you can do, stay indoor. We're giving the best picture live from Air 7 HD. Stay indoors, keep the doors and windows stay locked. Indoors, Oftentimes, these pursuits, keep the doors, they stop somewhere. Keep the the suspect simply locked. gets out, makes a run for it into a neighborhood, and we've seen these situations where <laughs> the suspects actually run into and commandeer a house, taking people hostage. And that's the last thing you I'm want to find yourself in a situation hostage, tonight. Stay indoors, you know, keep the doors and windows locked. Don't go outside. Tonight. Don't egg don't this guy outside. out. Don't go outside. Don't go outside. Don't exit until there's a scene. Make sure there's a scene. Stop, a safe spot, a safe stop, and hopefully take this guy into custody safe very stop. rapidly. Once again, the pursuit is going to be passing Jetsworth. Uh, Jetsworth Drive. Pursuit is going to be passing Jetsworth. Passing Jetsworth. Now he's going to make a left or a Westbound turn. Yeah, and westbound turn. Boulevard. There's a Los Angeles Police Department. So he's going to be west, just north of the 118, and pretty much right in between the two major freeways in the San Fernando Valley, both the 5 and the 405. He's going to go under us, so give us just a heartbeat here, guys. We're going to reposition, get him right back I'm into our frame. Under the he's made some quick and erratic turns, and these situations so can be a little difficult to follow. You see LAPD officers, they're right on top of that guy. Four. You can see three, three, maybe four, right four. on his tail. And we're going to zoom in real tight four. as soon as we get behind three. this guy. Four. Unfortunately, he did fly four. right. Uh, he drove 
drove right for underneath our helicopter, so we have days. to reposition here. And we'll for, go tight once again. Days. I'm close. I'm on course. And for not only is this going to be wanted now, according to LAPD officers, for reckless driving and erratic driving, but the is also days. wanted for an assault with a deadly weapon, a police not officer. Now, I'm not sure what three that a deadly weapon is. That could be a gun, for that could be a knife, days. it could be a baseball bat, a metal bar, and if it could oftentimes be even a, a car. You could use a car as a deadly weapon. I'm not so exactly what that deadly weapon is or was, but LAPD officers telling us he's now an assault with a deadly weapon against a police officer. Now with a uh, deadly weapon, I okay, think. Columbus. Yeah, he's North on Columbus. Columbus. And now making a left or a westbound turn. This will be San Fernando Mission. A uh, westbound be San Fernando Mission. That's going to take him right back to the 405. And there is an on-ramp coming up here. And this has right been going on 20 to 25 on, minutes. And, and that would take him right back to the San Diego area. Freeway, the North 405. And that's about right. a half mile They're before the 405 be merges with the 5. Uh, this looks like it might be an area that the suspect merges. is familiar with. He's, he's uh, stayed confined to the San Fernando Valley for uh, the past 15, 20 minutes. Uh, northbound right. now is going to be, I believe, Stanwood. Northbound on going Stanwood off, the off of San Maybe Stranwood. Okay, northbound Stranwood, and that's just so. off of uh, San Fernando and Mission. Now making a southbound turn. And that's going to be on Sepulveda Boulevard. Turning left southbound on Sepulveda Boulevard. And approaching and LAPD's mission, the mission now. Yeah. Here's the police station. Looks like he might be stopping. Now, he did this a short while ago at LAPD's Foothill uh, Division maybe Station. Now, it looks like he's stopping right in front of the Mission maybe, Division Station. Maybe and he might be playing cat and mouse game. He did this a while yeah. ago at another police station. Um, stopped and went, stopped and went. Ago, you see LAPD officers in front of their Mission Division Station. They're fortified. They're keeping this guy at bay. They want him to stop, but they don't want him to breach the premises. They want him to now, he's pulling into a gas station right next to door to LAPD's Mission Division Station, which again is on Sepulveda Boulevard here in the San Fernando Valley. And looks like he's going to try to recommit to what may be Sepulveda Boulevard. And he'll make a northbound turn and circle back. Now, everything you're watching here right now is happening just a few short minutes ago in front of LAPD's Foothill Division Station. Going back and forth in front of the station. Might try that pit maneuver here. Coming up on that right clear port of panel on the Sepulveda Boulevard. There's that very light and gentle pit maneuver. The first officer implementing that maneuver. Moving on. Officers right on top of this guy. Again, if he comes out of the car, we're going to take the shot just a now little bit wide. This is a suspect, according to LAPD officers, Price who's wanted for an assault with a deadly Someone weapon against police officers. Now, they're out of their car. They're head on with He's that guy. His hands are weapon. out of the car. That's a good sign. Right. But uh, and they good sign. He's okay, going to go ahead. <coughs> like he's complying with their... Uh... He is complying he with his hands up outside the driver's side the window. Hands are like still this. up. Looks like he's arguing with him now. Not a good idea. Car, uh, I think he's got the foot on the brake, or does it? Maybe he hasn't put the car in park yet. Oh, oh boy. Okay, that, no, yeah, the, car oh, is, the shirt hanging down, that is not yep, good. The car he needs is to comply, able. and he's not so far. It couldn't go he's anywhere. He's away from him, he's arguing with At him. At least the car What they want uh, you to do in this case, they want you to throw part, up the car keys. They want I'm you assuming, to have the, your I'm not back sure. facing the officers and get down on the ground. So... To get them not down on the so ground. Now that LAPD officers are looking for some non lethal weapons, a taser, or perhaps from the a bean LAPD. bag gun, and they've got those weapons and at their availability. Uh, two guys walk toward the suspect so who appears to be belligerent, so commandant, semi uncooperative. They may have used that non lethal force to bring him down. He's, out, he's been hit. That's either a bean bag round or a taser round. He's been and hit he by a taser round right now. Even though he's down and surrounded by LAPD officers, heavily fortified LAPD officers with a variety of weapons, lethal and non lethal, they're going to approach him very gingerly. Very carefully. Some officers have their gun drawn. Other officers he is pulling complying. in. And they're going to take him into custody right now. We'll get a little tighter complying. for you. Hands he behind his back. Unfortunately, after about 20 minutes, this pursuit in the San Fernando Valley has been going on, on for, for nearly jump. about street is this 20 minutes now? or so. I believe this is going to be on yeah, some been going on. Yeah, I've been going on for right nearly so about 15 exactly to 20 minutes. It's on Sepulveda Boulevard, and just south of San Fernando Mission. So it's on the San Fernando Valley, Sepulveda Boulevard. Sepulveda Boulevard, by the way, of course, if you don't live in the San Fernando Valley, that is a major thoroughfare, similar to, for example, Ventura Boulevard in the San Fernando Valley. It's a poor valley, a part of the Ventura Valley, and it's similar to, for example, Ventura Boulevard in the San Fernando Valley. It's a poor valley, a part of the Ventura Boulevard in the San Fernando Valley. A very heavily traveled part of the San Fernando Valley with all this police activity. Yeah, and maybe. Let's open up the shot here and then about five or ten minutes uh, later, they did a pit maneuver of no that, the driver. With that police activity. But fortunately, it came to an this end. Guy, uh, got out of his car, this guy got out of his car. This guy got out of his car. Wasn't exactly complying with police wasn't officers. Wasn't exactly wasn't complying. Exactly complying. Everything they wanted he thought he was complying. He was complying. He was uncooperative. So, actually, rear end five of that car. Actually, did a pit maneuver. Five or fifteen to twenty minutes later, it came to an end. The suspect is he did get out Under of his car, but he wasn't exactly complying with all of the their demands, so they pulled out their non-lethal rounds, out they exercised great restraint, they shot the guy with the non-lethal round, and he is in custody now. And he is in custody. Now. All right, Bill Thomas, uh, in Air Five 7 or 15 HD. minutes later, uh, 
the driver like is in custody. Is over and another game yeah, he is in custody. The driver is in custody. The driver is in custody. And mission, and mission is still. And now it came to an end. So there you have it. All right. I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel and everyone for car commercials, police chase videos. So yeah. So. So I'll see you guys. Yeah, my channel is growing now. So yeah, my channel. Yeah. So my channel. Yeah. Yeah, my channel. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So my channel. So my channel is growing. I'm on my way getting a hundred thousand subscribers. A thousand subscribers. It is growing. My channel is growing. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And I hope you guys and uh, subscribe to my channel for a thousand subscribers. So I'll see you guys. And be sure to check out this video popped up. Be sure to check out this video popped up here. Bam. And check out my channel it's up here. And I'll see you guys in the next video later on tonight. Bye guys.